My goal here is to get Aiden to circle around me while I stay still and maintain gait and maintain direction and be able to change direction and continue to circle. So right here, when I asked him to go, he went a little bit and then he stopped. So with my stick and string, I just swung it behind him a little bit. He's very sensitive, so I don't need to create very much commotion at all with my stick and string. Otherwise, he's going to get, you know, more amped up. So I just move it a little bit. I don't even have to touch him with it. So I just stay in neutral there, just stay still, and I'm just asking him to circle around me and maintain the trot. And I'm looking for some rhythm and some relaxation. And I get little bits here and there when his head comes down and he starts to relax. And there he broke gate again, so I just swung the stick and string behind him a little bit and said, you need to maintain gait. So I'm not resending him out again. I'm not looking at him. I'm not changing my position. I'm staying still. And there I just moved my stick and string again. And unfortunately, I dropped it there, so I had to pick it back up. And I just asked him to go back out again. So I want him trying to figure out how he can keep me still and leaving him alone. And the answer is maintain gait and maintain direction. Now, when he got to my shoulder, I backed up a little bit and asked him to change direction. He's having a little bit of hard time there. I just redirect with my stick and string. And I'm just staying still there. His job is to keep going. He stops. I lift my stick and ask him to continue on. So it takes a little bit to get him or any horse to understand, um, you know, what the game is here. And I realized this is one thing that was kind of um, missing in, in um, his education here is him understanding his responsibilities of maintain gait and maintain direction and not to get worried. So when I go to make a turn, I wait for him. If he's, if he's circling left, I wait for him to circle past my left shoulder and then I will turn and face him and back up. So, and if I'm going to the right, it's, it's the opposite. I'll wait till he passes my right shoulder. So I want it to be a pattern so he understands what's going on and that he understands when I turn and look at him and I back up, that means to come towards me and then change direction. So I'm wait, right now I'm just waiting for a little bit of relaxation here and I'm waiting for him <clears throat> to be able to maintain that gate. See, he broke gate again. So I'm going to wait on him <clears throat> to do a few laps before I ask him to change direction. Now I'm getting ready to turn and face him right after he passes my shoulder. He's not getting it, so I, I start walking to the rail. And I put my stick up to block him from going in the opposite direction. See, and if you see there, I'm just staying really casual, really relaxed. I'm not getting emotional. I'm not directing any other energy towards him. I'm just going, you know, you need to go in that direction. And so I just give him whatever aids I need to, to get him to do his job. And then I leave him alone. I just try to be as clear as I can about what I want. So there I didn't have to back up more than a couple steps and he changed direction, but then he stopped. So I just swung my stick and string towards him a little bit. It didn't even have to touch him because he's just so sensitive. See, I just, oh, and right there, I just lifted it. And then he goes, okay, I'm going to keep on going. And then I just pass the rope between my hands and I just have the stick and string leaning against my body while this is happening. And I'm ready to pick it up whenever I need to. And I'm just staying very relaxed here. So he needs to really understand 
when he's circling, he has responsibilities of maintaining gait and maintaining direction. That's what I'm trying to teach him here. I just keep passing the rope between hands as he's circling around me. And I hit this, and then here I'm going to back up. I turned and faced him back up and asked him just to change direction. And then I just kind of swung the stick a little bit, which he got emotional there. And I, it, does, it didn't even touch him, and he just gets emotional. But I'm just saying, hey, you need to go in that direction, and you need to trot. And so every time he broke into a canter, what I did is I just calmly said to him, you're okay, you're okay. And then my voice, just being calm like that, brought him back down to a trot. And so right here, it's just a lot of repetition of getting him to understand what his job is. So he broke gate again there. I lifted my stick and then I brought it back down and it's just kind of, you know, it's on the ground and then it's leaning against my body. And so it's right there as soon as I need it. And there when he brings his head down, he's trying to relax. That's very nice. Now I passed my shoulder, I turned and faced, I backed up a couple steps and asked him to change direction. So this is all I'm doing in this video is um, just a lot of this repetition until I feel like he's getting an understanding. So basically there are two things I'm working on. One of them is the change of direction and the other one is maintaining gait and direction. So... Um, I just have to, you know, just keep doing it and doing it until he relaxes and understands what his job is. And that was pretty nice right there. And now there's, you know, there'll be a couple other ones in this video, I think, where... Um, he had a harder time changing direction, and I just help him. I just keep backing towards straight and towards the fence until he runs out of options, and I have my stick up, so he only has one direction where he can go. And I, I try to get him to find the answer instead of me pushing and making him do something. I want him to be a part of the conversation, and I want him to understand when he needs to change direction. So there he changed direction on his own without me asking. So I'm just backing up here. He's getting emotional about it. And I'm just saying, no, you need to you need to maintain direct gate and direction. The gate and the direction that I put you in. And then I'm right back to neutral again. And my emotions aren't getting involved. I'm just nice and relaxed. And I want him thinking, how do I keep that girl quiet? Well, you keep me quiet by maintaining gait and maintaining direction and changing directions when I ask. So when I was done with him, there was a lot of sweat, you know, because it was very emotional for him. But as he gets better and better at this and realizes what his responsibility is and that if he does it, life will be good, then there won't be so much sweating and anxiety for him. Like there, his head was coming down. He's looking a little bit more relaxed. I really like that. But then his head comes up a little bit too. So it's like, it's, he's up and down with it. He's, you know, it's, it's not set in stone yet, but we're working on it. And I have to be ready. Every time he changes gait, I need to be ready to correct without getting upset, without getting emotional, without turning and facing him and making a big deal of it. My stick and string just do the job. I just lift it and ask him to continue on. He 
So there, he's having a hard time changing direction there. So I just backed up to the fence and he didn't have a lot of options there. And my stick came up and kind of helped him because I just closed the door going on the other direction. I just block it with my stick, but I'm not swinging it around. I just hold it up there, just hold it up straight and give him a chance to figure out what the, the right answer is. So there's just a little bit more in here to go. I am um, just watch the rest and it's basically just doing the same thing. And just working on, on him understanding and relaxing and figuring out that he's got he's got a job to do here. Maintain gate, maintain direction, and change gate when asked. And relax like that. Really nice. So he's getting a lot better about maintaining his gait. You know, the change of direction is still a little bit sticky, but it's it's getting better. And like right there, he's looking outside the circle. And so there's a little bit of anxiety here. Once he relaxes more, that should get better. And eventually I'll want him to change direction and maintain gait at the same time to, to do it all at the trot. But I'm not going to put that kind of pressure on him right now. I just want to get the understanding right now. But I feel like there was a lot of progress here. Um, I'm just looking for a little bit of improvement and understanding. And every day it will get better and better.